Hi everyone, thanks for joining part three of the Concorde build. In the last video, I sheeted the wings. In this video, I'm going to start building the fuselage structure. If you stick around till the end, you'll see some things that didn't quite go to plan. Before gluing the wings to the fuselage, I decided to finish the wings off so it's easier to handle. I used a lightweight filler to get rid of some of the bumps around the leading edges and then some mica pads to sand it all down with the sanding block really nice and easy. And then I've glued on the extra supports for the servos and the WB1 connector to connect the two wings together. To help keep the fuselage straight, I decided to buy two 8mm carbon rods to act like a jig. I aligned the formers, then drilled two holes and just slid the formers along the two carbon tubes. That helped me keep everything straight before gluing on the stringers. Once the wings are in place, I just check the alignment and then use a bit of thin CA just to make sure that all the formers are glued into the wings. With that done, start splicing the stringers together, ready to put them onto the fuselage. With the first stringer in place, I used the metal blocks to double check the alignment and then did the same process for all the other stringers. Once I had a few stringers in place, I could start cutting free the carbon tubes and then finish off the rest of the stringers. The stringers just on top of the wings are probably the hardest. I ended up having to open up the slots to help slide it in. You'll see at the end what happened when I didn't. Apart from that, it was a really easy process. Using the anaphatic glue helps the wood slide into the slot and then you've got plenty of time to align everything. With the wings and fuselage together, I can start sanding the bottom sides ready for the bottom sheeting. But before that, I need to do the wiring. The wiring kit from Formax arrived, so I can start laying out the electronics, which is the next bit in the build. I started programming the ESCs using the table from Formax website. It was really straightforward once I used the right table. Here's the table I used and the settings on the right. Now for the embarrassing bits. No! No! Oh. Oh. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe.